Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Star Perfume Reviews. So I know I've been on a little bit of like a video hiatus, whatever you want to call it. Just been so freaking busy the last like three, four weeks that it's just been really hard to kind of sit down and do videos, but I'm back finally and doing another video for you guys. So today I am happy to be reviewing the, I believe, fifth fragrance from Britney Spears. I'm not 100% positive on that one, but... Britney Spears' Believe is what I'm reviewing today. So this is um, the third pillar in her fragrance line. Um, this one was released in, I believe, 2007. And it's kind of different than all her other fragrances. I will say that right now. Um, but the cool thing about this fragrance is, like her previous two pillar fragrances, when the fragrance first launched, it got its own special box. Like, the box was very special. Um, with the curious box the top pulled off and then it like um, origami folded out if that makes sense and then like the box was sitting in the middle does that make sense like the bottle was sitting in the middle like this origami fold and then the uh, fantasy box you had the two sides that pulled down and then the fantasy came out off the top and then you had the bottle sitting inside this pink little velvet thing so now with this box with the believe box and I didn't want to review this until I got the full size, and I got the full size a while back. It has to have been quite a while that I got this, but um, I didn't want to review it until I got this box, mainly because I didn't want to show you guys this box. So it it's just like all the other boxes where it says Believe on the front up here, where it says, just says Britney Spears Believe. And then on the sides you've got um, this cool little dot pattern on top. It's bright pink, and it's got this heart that almost looks like a bee if you were to turn it like this, if I turned it the right way. Yeah, see it looks like a bee and then it's a heart this way. And I've got all the information on the bottom and then the back is the same as the front. So, but when you open it up, it actually opens up like this, like so it like crooks on the hinge right here, which I thought was super cool. And then it opens up like this. And then on the inside up here, you've got this like the heart there again, it's all super pink and reflective. And the dots are carried in onto the inside. And then this bottom part is like the silver metallic color. And it comes with this little ple plastic piece that covers the bottle. And the bottle's got this kind of cool little stage that it sits like this in. So it's kind of got this cool reflectiveness to it. And then the smaller box though, um, this is after it was released for a while they decided to make it a little bit cheaper so it still says Britney Spears believe it's still got all the dots still looks pretty similar but when you open it up it actually has um, pink cardboard on the inside which I cannot open this box like this and then this folds out like this and it's got a little plastic tray but these little things fold like the little side nugget thingies fold you can even get that like these little they fold down to like capture the top of the bottle. So they, they changed it to make it cheaper, but also, you know, it was part of like the original release was getting this super cool box, which isn't something different than most fragrance companies do. They'll release a really cool box with the first release of it, and then everyone after that's not as cool, um, sort of like a thing. But anyway, so Britney Spears Believe, I have the 100 ml bottle and the 30 ml bottle so this is a completely different bottle design from all her previous ones this time it is this kind of triangular diamond shape so like this side's a diamond if you turn it upside down this side's a diamond but it's a bunch of like diamonds and triangles pieced together to make this really cool solid excuse me solid uh art deco looking bottle the top is just a big metallic triangle, and then you've got your cap that's another triangle. So this is completely different from all the other scents. This is a very green, uh, fresh type of scent. So this one, your top notes are guava and tangerine. Your middle notes are honeysuckle and linen blossoms. And your base notes are patchouli, amber, and partline, or praline, depending on how you want to say it. So with this... Um, this isn't my favorite out of all the Britney Spears scents, I will say that right now. 
but I also, as you guys know, I'm not a huge patchouli fan. So when you first, first spray it, I feel like you do get that tangerine and the guava, but the guava is a really big standout of that top. Um, it's very kind of a fresh citrus opening, but it quickly goes into the heart and the base starts to bring itself out, and that's the patchouli bringing itself out. But the heart, you get into the honeysuckle and the linen blossoms, which I feel like kind of just add this floral essence to the fragrance. You can't really pick one or the other out too terribly much. It just kind of adds a soft floral to the heart. And then once you get into the base, definitely the patchouli stands out. The patchouli is a definite uh, front runner of this fragrance. You can almost smell it from the beginning. But it's got this kind of earthy, um, light edginess to it. It's also got praline in it. And the praline adds this kind of chocolate sweetness to the fragrance without it being overly sweet, without it being overly um, earthy. So I feel like most of that is the heart notes adding in its extra little floralness to kind of balance out everything. It's weird because with it, even though it's got patchouli in it, and you normally don't hear this a lot with patchouli fragrances, but it's almost got this airiness to it. But it's definitely this soft, earthy, citrusy, chocolatey kind of scent. It's not super, super chocolatey, and I'll say that right now because the pralines just add this rich sweetness to it. But it's not overly sweet, and it's not overly patchouli. It's just very kind of grassy, earthy, green kind of fragrance. Um, it's probably definitely her most mature fragrance out of all of them, front-running with Curious. Even though Curious isn't super mature, out of the two of them, this one's mature-er. Um... With this one, I get about seven hours of lasting time on it. I would say I would wear this in the spring, in the summer, and the daytime. Um, I don't wear this fragrance very often, mainly because of that patchouli note. I don't really like fragrances with patchouli in them. Um, every now and again, we'll get a fragrance out there that I do like that has patchouli in it. It's just patchouli and my body don't get along very well. I feel like it counteracts and I get a lot more patchouli off of it than it's supposed to but with the florals in the heart of this I get a little bit less of the patchouli stand out as much as it would if I don't think it had those florals in the heart so this was kind of um I feel like this was kind of our hit or miss fragrance with a lot of them it is the only fragrance out of all of her lines that does not have a spin-off or a flanker to it this also, she said, it was her most personal fragrance, but at the same time, um, isn't her... She never said it was her favorite, she just said it was her most personal, and it has a lot more, I feel like, aspects of her mother and people that were important to her life than her personally, and I feel like that's why she connects with it so personally. So, as always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. That is my review of Britney Spears' Believe. As always, guys, follow me on Twitter, Ada S. Perfume, Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. And as always, guys, if you have a video you guys want to see, go ahead and request it down below, and I will do my best to film it for you guys. Have a great day. Bye.